Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And this one is talking about the state of war right now, really. I'm going to be going through Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, all the typical uh, Town Hall levels we see in these CWL, uh, CWL Lite, and just competitive wars in general. Those are the main Town Hall levels in question. Um, so I'm going to be going through each of those, talking about kind of the balance of it and what changes, if any, I think are needed and kind of war as a whole right now. So I'm gonna to get to all of that in just a moment. As you can see, the background attacks for this video are going to be from the Amino War. Great job to that clan. Uh, they, they had a very solid war and I think we had a pretty bad war to be honest. Um, we had to use, surprisingly, dip attacks, Town Hall 10 attacks going down on the Town Hall 9s. We did not clear all the Town Hall 9s which was kind of disappointing, and I'll talk a little bit more about that as I go through Town Hall 9s uh, as a whole. But basically, that kind of crippled our heavy hitters, our Town Hall 11s, Town Hall 10s. They had less attacks to work with. We were kind of spread a little bit thin because of those dip attacks we needed. And uh, we, we almost came back. It looked like it would be really close for a long time. Uh, but then they, uh, they pulled ahead by a few stars. So once again, good job to Armino. And uh, let's go ahead and just get into the content of this video. We're gonna start with uh, Town Hall 9 and work our way up because basically every Town Hall level, its role in war is contingent on the Town Hall level below it. So Town Hall 10s, um, they are in some ways contingent on Town Hall 9s. If all the 9s are cleared, they have a very different job than if they're having to use multiple dip attacks. The same goes for Town Hall 11s uh, relative to Town Hall 10s. So we'll start at the bottom and work our way up. Um, starting with Town Hall 9's, talking about how Town Hall 9 is right now in terms of war. And I think the common consensus is that it's too easy right now. And at first, when the update first came out, uh, with the Town Hall 11 update mainly, but it also changed a few other things, I said Town Hall 9 is still gonna be okay. Um, I said that after the update to Giant Bombs that made them no longer do the 1.5 damage to Hogs. I also said that then, and I think it was more true then, but after this last update, I think Town Hall 9 has just um, slid a little bit too far off the balance scale. It's not quite really balanced much anymore, and La Lune is what kind of exemplifies this. I'd say every attack strategy um, is a little bit too powerful in general, but especially La Lune at Town Hall 9. The balloons did get a small buff in the most recent update, meaning they drop their, uh, their bombs a little bit faster when they reach a defense, which does have a noticeable impact if you take it as a whole, because they used to be pretty slow, now they're a little bit faster, and that makes them uh, move through the base a little bit quicker. So that had an impact, and I think just everything as a whole, um, it made Town Hall 9 too easy. We're seeing all kinds of attacks with uh, La Lune. We're seeing the, the shattered, cold-blooded, stoned, golem-based attacks like that. We're seeing queen walk attacks. We're seeing just kind of spam attacks. There's like queen pop. There's all different kinds of way to use balloons. And pretty much every one of those ways is working right now at Town Hall 9. That's not to say we're not seeing ground attacks because we are. And they might even be close to being a little bit too powerful. But the main culprit right now is going to be the loons at Town Hall 9. I guess the lava hounds too. It's all part of the same package. So... I think we need to see some kind of change there because Town Hall 9, they should, I'd say there should, if I could ideally create the scenario, there should be occasional dip attacks. And I know this sounds kind of uh, kind of silly coming from uh, me being in Genesis and we just struggled with the Town Hall 9s. We had to use multiple dip attacks. That sounds kind of weird, but most clans are having no problems. I think that was kind of an anomaly for us too. Uh, we'll probably be three-starring those Town Hall 9s across the board pretty soon as well in the coming wars. So I think that um, uh, we need Town Hall 9 to be at a place where it's going to be questionable as to whether all the Town Hall 9s are going to be three-starred easily. There's going to be dip attacks in at least some, if not the majority of wars. I think that makes it a little bit more interesting. The Town Hall 9s have more of a challenge that way. There shouldn't be that many scout attacks because those kind of, uh, they take away a little bit from war, I think. I don't like scout attacks in general. Um, they kind of, uh, 
defeat the purpose of base building um, for some of the heavy hitters because they expose some of the traps which are intended to be surprises and stuff. So ideally, I think Town Hall 9 should be questionable whether they all get cleared. Right now, it's a little bit beyond that, despite what happened in Genesis in our most recent war. So one of the uh, solutions I propose for Town Hall 9 is to bring the level 12 Archer Tower. That's the first uh, level you can upgrade to once you get to Town Hall 10. That's one above max for Town Hall 9. Uh, max for Town Hall 9 is the level 11 Archer Towers, but I propose bringing the level 12 Archer Towers down to Town Hall 9. Um, they're like the brownish, purple, black kind of, that have the spikes and stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about. Bring those uh, Archer Towers down to Town Hall 9. That will not only help kind of curb the air attacks because just more damage from air targeting defenses right there, and you have quite a few Archer Towers, so I think it would be significant. But also for ground attacks too, the Archer Towers obviously still target ground troops, so it wouldn't be like an air defense buff that just targets the uh, air troops and possibly leaves other things too powerful. It kind of does an all-around nerf to Town Hall 9 offense um, or through a buff to defense uh, through that means. I think that would be, um, it would obviously add another defense you have to upgrade twice at Town Hall 9, which wouldn't be much fun for Town Hall 9s, but I think in the grand scheme of things, it would help balance out that Town Hall level, and I'd definitely like to see that, um, bring that Archer Tower down to Town Hall 9. I don't really see many drawbacks of it. It's a pretty isolated solution. It's not going to affect other Town Hall levels. Um, Town Hall 10s should still be able to dip very easily on Town Hall 9s. It wouldn't be like Town Hall 9 got so powerful defensive-wise. It's just a one specific Archer Tower um, upgrade being brought down. And I think that would do enough. I mean, it's possible people could still kind of face roll bases with uh, air attacks, but I think that would have a significant impact. It's hard to say definitively, but I have to think all that extra damage, you know, extra 12 DPS or whatever it is for every Archer Tower, that probably would make a difference. So that's my solution for now that I think Supercell should in implement, and that way you only have one upgrade at Town Hall 10 which might make that a little bit of a quicker Town Hall level if you want it to be, and if you want to move to Town Hall 11. So that's my solution there. That's all I can really think of um, at this moment. You guys can let me know what you think below, of course, like in any video. But let's keep moving on to Town Hall 10. Um, right now, because Town Hall 9 is pretty easy, we're seeing Town Hall 10s have a lot more freedom because they're not having to dip as much as they used to on Town Hall 9s. Um, basically, the main thing for Town Hall 10s is to get up there and two-star the Town Hall 11s. That's actually another thing Genesis has struggled with. If the two main things um, to characterize the two main things we've had problems with, it's been Town Hall 9 three stars just straight up, and the Town Hall 10s getting up and two-starring the Town Hall 11s. We're getting better at the the, t the two stars. Uh, for sure, though, I think that's something we're in the process of uh, of getting down. But that's the main uh, the main role of Town Hall 10s. I think initially that's the first thing that happens in a CWL war like that is the Town Hall 10s go up to star those Town Hall 11s. That way they just have those sure stars. They can later be attempted for three stars by Town Hall 11s, which is a possibility now. But for the most part, those Town Hall 11s are going to remain two star the entire war. And it's important they get a good percentage because sometimes it comes down to percentage. Um, so that's the main thing they're doing. But of course, we're still seeing Town Hall 10s going across with whatever's left in three-starring um, the bottom Town Hall 10s, the mid-level Town Hall 10s, and even some of the max Town Hall 10s. But uh, typically, at least half of those Town Hall 10s, sometimes not half, but anywhere, depending on the clan, um, from a few Town Hall 10s up to maybe the majority of Town Hall 10s are getting three-starred by the Town Hall 10s in a given clan. And I think that's good. We are seeing mainly La Lune. Um, but that's changing. The base meta is changing. People are putting their air defenses in tricky uh, locations. You saw that in my video where I talked about the offset air defenses at Town Hall 10. People are also putting them in kind of four corners, but very much so to the outside of the base to prevent the Lava Hounds from really getting in there and tanking. So these different ways um, to manipulate the Lava Hound pathing is making it so Bo La Loon and stuff like that isn't going to be too powerful. I don't think a change is needed. I think we just have to wait for base builders to fully catch up. I'm already starting to see other stuff emerge, like uh, some mass bowler type combinations, some Valks. 
um, maybe even some hogs. But we're starting to see a few other strategies, baby dragons being one of them. They're always a possibility when the air defenses get offset. But stuff like that is emerging in response to the new base building. And I think we should just kind of wait for that, uh, that back and forth between base builders and attackers to keep going because Town Hall 10 seems pretty dynamic right now. We're seeing new stuff emerge. It's still difficult to get the three star on a solid base and that's how it should be at Town Hall 10. Let's just wait and see how it shapes up. But for right now, we're seeing some awesome three stars. Not all the Town Hall 10s, of course, are getting three starred, but um, a number of them typically in a given war will be three starred by another Town Hall 10, which is nice to see because we haven't been seeing that maybe three, four months ago. That wasn't very common. So uh, that's a good thing to see. If I could just say one extra thing, though, for Town Hall 10, I would say we'd like to see miners come back. Um, they were so popular upon coming out and for a little while after that. But whatever it was, that, that uh, nerf that wasn't announced but was quickly discovered where they stay up a little bit longer before they dip down underground, somehow basically completely removed them from the game at Town Hall 10, which is amazing. I haven't seen them in so long at Town Hall 10. I don't want to see something that makes them too powerful, but something that makes them a good support troop, a good kind of uh, combination complement to Valks, maybe even make them uh, compatible with an air attack. That would make Town Hall 10, you know, have another dimension, another possibility. That's always good to see of diversity of troops. There has to be something, I think, to bring them back because they are... They are more irrelevant than the, than the clone spell, which has actually worked its way into Town Hall 11, which I'll talk about. But yeah, I want to see the miners come back for sure at Town Hall 10. Not to make them too powerful, but just a little bit. Give them something uh, to make them relevant again at that Town Hall level. Um, okay, let's go to Town Hall 11, the last Town Hall level. And it's interesting because we're seeing, of course, the dip attacks. that We're going to continue to see those as long as Town Hall 10s are still being left up. It's getting much easier, I think, with the new, you know, level 45 heroes and the new spell space and a few of the new troop levels to three-star those Town Hall 10s. We're seeing the Witch Bowler combinations as well as La Loon and stuff like that. So we're seeing multiple attacks being used. The dip attacks are getting easier, but that's probably how it should be. Dip attacks should typically be easy. They're not as easy as a Town Hall 10 going down for a Town Hall 9, but they still are relatively easy, and most of them are successful, um, even if on a fresh attack. So that's all fine, but the main thing we're seeing that's very interesting at Town Hall 11 is the new possibility for three stars, and it's through that strategy that I uh, posted a video a few days ago on. Basically, it's the coming in for a few... Uh, just small things with the kill squad, then using a big La Loon on the base, sometimes involving a clone spell, but has the warden on air, just a very uh, heavy air attack. That's pretty much all we're seeing. I'd like to see a little bit more possibility, but I think base building is going to start to adapt because right now the Town Hall 11 bases are mainly designed to defend against two stars, but I've already started to see just in that last most recent war the lower Town Hall 11s especially start to make somewhat anti three star bases to kind of say, okay, you can, you can get the two star maybe, but we're not giving you the three star. And I think that's, that's very cool to see. That's what we want to see. Possibility at least for Town Hall 11 three stars. They should be harder than Town Hall 10 three stars, but they should be a possibility on a well executed attack. I don't think we need any changes right now. Let's just see where the base building goes. As long as there is a kind of back and forth, like I said, between base building and attack. I think Supercell should kind of just stay hands off, see where it goes. If it you know gets stagnant after a while, then maybe make a few changes to make it um, more competitive, whether it's offensive or defensive changes. Town Hall 9, I think, is a little bit uh, stagnant in terms of base buildings really having some trouble dealing with all these new attacks, especially from the air. So something should be added there. But um, on the other hand, Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, leave them alone for the most part besides maybe some minors um, if there's going to make a small adjustment there. But that'll do it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. As always, drop your uh, comments, your opinions, your questions below. I'll be sure to check those out and make sure to answer some other ones if you can. Um, I should be coming out with an attack meta video to kind of show what attacks are working. I know you guys like <clears throat> that series and also I'll work on a new Town Hall 9 base maybe to uh, to try to defend this new uh, air meta I tried in the past it worked out all right but it got wrecked by some um, some other youtuber uh, 
cast and blast uh, came out and destroyed it with a queen pop. So I'm going to have to uh, to rethink that and maybe make another Town Hall 9 base build video for you guys. So be looking forward to that. I'll see you guys very soon. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Bye, Sectatron out.